overcome the yellow tide against the rock of a, the white shirts of Merthyr. Danny Carter battling away, but then that clearance asking Green to run. And Ovendale makes up his mind to come for the ball. And it was outside. It was outside. Well spotted by the assistant referee. And Barry could well be punished here. And the referee wants a word with Ovendale. Well, what? Half a minute to go. And uh, it's sent. It's a sending off. He's sent off. He's been sent off. Mark Ovendale has been sent off for deliberate handball outside of the penalty area. He can't believe it. Gary Lloyd will go in goal. Well, what drama indeed here at Jenner Park because we're coming up to the 90 minutes. We thought it would be extra time, but of course they have Pat Mountain on the bench, so I presume they will make the substitution. They'll try and delay to get Mountain on. Pat Mountain will come on to play in goal and uh, they'll be down to 10 men. He's desperately trying to get his tracksuit bottoms off. And uh, Patrick Mountain who must have been thinking, well, I'm going to have a quiet night on the bench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can't believe it, can he? Look at him. Uh, Craig Evans, unfortunately, is going to have to make way for him, but there's, there's no no problem there. You know, it's a good call, actually, to have Pat Mountain on the, on the bench. Unusual these days. Uh, to have a goalkeeper there. But he'll take his time now to get over there. Well, I mean, how, how dramatic can it be? Oh, unbelievable, though? right at the end. And we were talking about players making a mistake, uh, you know, to, to create a goal. It's not a goal, obviously, but it's an opportunity yeah. in the final moment. I don't think much will happen after this kick in the game. But uh, Pat Mountain just trying to steady himself down. He's doing well, actually, because he's just trying to take... Uh, getting under control the situation, walking into the goal. He's not flapping now. I bet you his pulse is going though. But it's Russell Wigley and Colin Loss there. There's a gap on the left hand side. Mountain has seen it. He hasn't had any time to warm up. This could be dramatic indeed. Oh. Wigley or oh, spoils it with a quality of shot. And uh, I can tell you, Colin Addison was as disappointed as anybody looking at his reaction on the touchline with that effort. It sailed high and wide. And Bertha will be disappointed that Barry can breathe again. But uh, what drama indeed. Mark Ovendale sent off with a half a minute to go. And now Pat Mountain, who was looking forward to a quiet evening on the bench, has, uh, what, an extra half hour and penalties maybe in front of him. I hope he stretched his hamstrings there before he kicked that ball. It's been a cold night for him on the bench. And he's going to loosen up. Now then. Barry, of course, down to ten men. Merthyr have a man advantage. Doesn't always work, of course, for the side with that advantage. Sometimes gives the opposition the boost. Not like that, it won't, though. And I think Barry will be glad to hear the final whistle now, just to reorganise themselves, you know. But, you know, I don't think it might, this will sound strange, but it won't make that much difference, I feel, to the game, because Barry are better in possession of the ball, they keep the ball a lot better. Obviously, they'll have less bodies going forward, but um, I think it might have evened things up a little bit. Well, drama at the end then, Mark Overdale sent off for handling the ball outside of his penalty area, and uh, Bertha had a free kick, and Pat Mountain dramatically... A good decision in the end by Gary Barnett to have a goalkeeper on the bench called into action, hasn't yet touched the ball, and uh, he could well have a vital part to play in extra time. There's an extra half hour here at Jenner Park. At the end of 90 minutes, it's Barry Town nil, Merthyr Tidville nil, and it's still anyone's game.